This is the Google Sheets Review 5 assignment, and the topic that we are going to cover in this review is charts. So we are going to work on using data sets to create charts. Charts allow us to give a visual representation of data, making it easier to understand. So this is your sheet of directions here. Uh, you can work off the direction sheet, or you can continue watching as I work through the directions myself. So you're going to be completing these tasks on this Google Sheet that I have made a copy for you. And you'll notice there right now there are two sheets. There's one that says ice cream flavors and it has a pink color to it. And then another one that says eating contest with a blue color. So we're going to start on ice cream flavors. Now on this we have three columns, column A, B, and C, that just have different names or different flavors of ice cream. So the first thing we need to do is add up each flavor. So we can go through and we can count each chocolate. So one, two, three, four. But there's a chance that we can make a mistake or that could take a long time. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a function that we've already learned and we're going to use a count if function. So click on cell E2. So again, you should see E2 up in your name box and you can type this or again, I have this command already uh, written for you on the directions. You could just copy and paste it if you want. But the, the function is going to be count if, and then the data set that we're looking at is A2 to C21. A2 to C21. That's all the flavors. And then we want to add up or count all the ones that say chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And there's also suggested autofill. So if we clicked uh, the check mark, it would all fill all these in. Well, the chance is that it's going to fill it in incorrectly because only the first one's chocolate. The second's going to be vanilla and then strawberry. So we're going to go ahead and reject that suggestion because that's not going to be what we want. So the next uh, in cell E3, we're going to do the same thing, but with vanilla. So if you're typing that out, it's going to be equals count if and then you can click on that. And then A2 to C21, comma, and then in quotations, you're gonna type vanilla. And then hit enter, and you should come up with 15. So I'm gonna finish that uh, for strawberry, mint, chocolate chip, Neapolitan. And I will pause my video while I do that, and I'll unpause it when I'm finished. Okay, so I have uh, these all filled in. So you'll notice I have the count if for chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, mint, chocolate chip, Neapolitan. So now I'm going to use this data here, it's in the black um, cells, to create a chart. So to do that, I'm gonna click on cell D2 and drag to D, or excuse me, to E7. And then up here on your toolbar, you'll see the little picture of a chart, and it says insert chart. You could also go up to insert, and then down to chart as well. But this saves you a step. After clicking on that, it's it's going to open up a chart, um, just a default chart or one that it would suggest, which is a column chart. But we're going to go ahead and click on the drop down, and we're going to go down until we get to a pie chart. So we're going to click on that pie chart. Now we're going to do a few different things to this pie chart. Uh, we're going to add a background color. We're going to make it three dimensional, and we're going to add a, a chart title and center align that chart title. So to do that. Um, if you somehow, or if you accidentally click off your chart, like if you were moving it, uh, you'll notice this pane goes away. So to get that, that window pane back, click on your chart, click on the three dots, and then edit chart. And now we're gonna go to customize, and under chart style, we have background color. So you can pick a background color for your chart. Uh, when you pick a background color, you don't want it, if you're using a dark font, you don't want the background color to be too dark, or you won't be able to see that, that font. And then I'm going to make it three dimensional. I'm going to collapse chart style now, and I'm going to go down to chart and axis titles. And this is where we're going to put the name of our chart. And the name of our chart is going to be favorite ice cream flavors. And you'll notice it put that chart title up here, but it's not center aligned. So to center align it, 
I'm gonna go down to Title Format, click on Alignment, and click on Center Align. I also, the title isn't very easy to read, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the title font size from Auto, maybe I'll click on 30, and then also I can click on Bold, and then I can also change the color, so maybe I'll go with Black and make it stand out a little bit better. Okay, so uh, my chart is the way I like it now, so I'm gonna close out of the chart editor, and I'm just gonna resize this a little bit so it's not too big. And then you can just kind of tuck it here underneath um, next to your data set so that it's kind of out of the way. Uh, that way I can see your data set and I can see your chart. So let's move on to eating contest. Now in this one we have uh, contestants. So these are professional eaters. And then uh, column B is hot dogs that they consumed. C is hot wings and D is pies. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a column chart for the number of hot dogs eaten. So I'm gonna click on cell A1 and drag down to B6 and then go to insert chart. And <clears throat> you'll see automatically the, the chart that it gave me is a column chart. So we don't need to change this. We can use the column chart, but we are going to ch change a couple things. So before when we added a title, we had to go to customize to add that title. Uh, this one, we already have a title. It says number of hot dogs consumed versus contestant. Well, that's kind of an inaccurate title. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. So we could either go to chart and access titles and change it here, or we could just double click on it. And now we're ready to type our new title which is going to be hot dog eating contest. And then we are going to change a few things just like we were with our pie chart. So in chart style, you can give it a background color. So maybe I'll do something a little bit different on this one. We're gonna make it three dimensional. So our bars are now three dimensional. And those are the only required things for this one. If you wanted to change a few other things like I did last time when I changed the font size and color, you could do that and then like the alignment, but that doesn't have to be done on this one. But what we're gonna do different with the hot dog eating contest, because we have three different uh, eating contests on here, having three charts on here would be a lot. So I'm gonna move this to its own sheet. To do that, I'm gonna click in the top right corner of the chart and I'm gonna go down to move to own sheet. And when I do that, you'll see it got moved to its own sheet and it's called, mine's called chart four. Uh, yours might be like chart two, cause I've gone through a few already. Either way, we're gonna change the name. So to change the name, you're gonna right click on it. We're gonna rename it. You're gonna call it, uh, name it hot dog. And then we're going to right click and you're gonna change the color and it can be any color you want. I'll just change mine to red. Going back to your eating contest page, we're gonna do the same thing, but now we're gonna do number of hot wings consumed. So this one's a little bit different because you'll notice these two columns A and C are not next to one another. So we need to highlight column A from A1 to A6. We need to hold down the control key on our keyboard. And while we're holding that down, we can highlight, highlight column C. So you notice I got A and C, but I left B unhighlighted. And now I'm gonna to go to insert chart and we're gonna go down to bar chart. So now the, our bars are horizontal instead of vertical. So same thing, we're going to ch change a few things on here. Uh, so first of all, in the directions, it asks you to uh, give it a chart title. So I'm gonna double click on my title and the chart title for this one is gonna be Hot Wings Eating Contest. And then we are going to give it a background color. So I'm gonna go to, again, customize, chart style, and a background color. All right, we are going to do a few more things. Uh, we're gonna make these, the bars three-dimensional again. And we're also gonna add data labels. So what data labels will do, it's gonna put the actual number of hot wings that were eaten on these bars. So to do that, we're gonna to go to series, and then you're gonna see data labels. Click that, and you'll now see that. Uh, so Joey Chestnut, we can see he ate 51. Edward Jarvis ate 48. 
et cetera. So uh, make sure you have those data labels on there. If you want to center align your title and change it to bold and change the color, you can, but that is not required. So we're going to do the same thing with this chart as we did with uh, the hot dog one. And we're going to uh, move it to its own sheet. And it says chart five. Let's rename that. And we're going to call it hot wings. We're going to give it a color. And let's uh, use green because I haven't used that yet. And then I'm going to move it so it's the last sheet. So I have hot dog and then hot wings. Going back to the eating contest, we're going to do one more. So highlight column A and column D and insert your chart. And this one's going to be a pie chart. So if you uh, scroll up, you should see chart type if you scroll up to the top of this pie chart. And again, we're going to customize it. So with our pie chart, we'll give it a, another background color. We're going to make it three dimensional and we're going to change the title. So this time I'm going to change the title inside the chart editor in case you ever want to do that. So right here it says title text. I'm going to um, highlight what's in there. And this is what we are going to type for this one. Because uh, we're, we're not showing the actual number of pies that were eaten. We're showing what percentage they ate of the total pies. So I'm going to go ahead and type in percentage of total pies consumed. And I'm going to go ahead and center align, make that bold, and change it to black. To add the data labels to each slice of the pie, under Customize, we're going to go to Pie Chart. And then you're going to see Slice Label. And you have the option for Label, Value, Percentage, and Value and Percentage. If we did Label, it's going to put the person's name there. If we do Value, it's going to put how many they each ate, or how many pies they each ate. And then Percentage is going to show that same percentage. Right now it's under their name. And then obviously value and percentage would show both. But we just want to show the value. So it shows how many pies they ate. So after you have that data label, then we're going to move this to its own sheet. So move to own sheet. We're going to rename the sheet. So it's called pie. And then we're going to recolor it just like we did the other one. So maybe I'll go with yellow because I don't have a yellow one. And then let's slide it to the end. So we have ice cream flavors, eating contest, hot dog, hot wings, and pie. And we have one, two, three, four total charts that we made. So if you have all of that, you may go ahead and submit your assignment.